Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Wednesday the 27th, and today was a lovely day outside weather-wise, stupid hot, humid, but it's not snowing, and it is in some of the country, so definitely super excited about that, but yeah, um, got this morning, got a few things done, got decent sleep, not great sleep, um, dogs are making some noise throughout the night and whatnot, so I went ahead, got up, got a couple things taken care of, got, wait till Karen got off to work, went out and got my bike ride in, Went and um, rode my bike, came back, got a handful of things done around the house here. Did a bunch of yard work, um, mowed, just cleaned up a bunch of the limbs and stuff in my own yard. I was waiting for the backyard to finish um, draining, I guess. It was flooding before, so I went ahead and got it all drained out. It's dry enough I could work on it. So I got it all cleaned up. I got a couple of limbs that I had forgot to move before I mowed. So when I mowed, I just moved them without actually moving them correctly and getting it taken care of. So it is what it is but I'm trying to water my plants right now. So it's been hot enough and not been raining lately, which is not really common for Florida. Usually we get more rain than this. So I figure I'm out here doing this, I'd go ahead and fill my bucket, which it's actually this giant bucket right there that has a couple nipples that I haven't built mounted into it that allows it to drain water called plants at once. So I got a bunch of yard work done, um, just stuff. It seems like it never fully ends when you're out here, you know, you own property and that. You're just constantly always doing something. Got some organizing done. Um, took care of the dogs, played with the dogs quite a bit. Spent time with them, whatnot. Um, just, yeah, it was just a odd day. I got a shipment from my heart monitor company, which I have on right now. Um, they've shipped me three shipments and every single one of them has been wrong. It's ridiculous. They were supposed to send me a long lead and a short lead. They didn't. Um, they only sent me a short lead. The short lead's pulling off. They're not sending me enough little glue-on patches I'm supposed to glue on my body because I run and sweat so much and bike and that. They're, they don't last. Like They're expecting these things to last. Like Apparently, from what they send you, are expecting them to last six days each. And I'm getting one day out of them. And sometimes not even a full day because of the fact that the lead's too short and it pulls the damn thing off. And I understand most of their clients are probably in their 80s or 70s and they're sitting around all day not moving and they might last five days but not here, not with all the heat, not with all the humidity, not with all the sweating going on. And I told them that, and they just keep screwing up stuff. So I ended up on the phone with them, ended up on the phone with the supervisor, ended up on the phone with the doctor and stuff, found out the part that's just, it's a mess. I was, I literally called the person out. I'm like, I'm like, your employee said they said this is a liar. I said, they're stupid or liars, one of two, has to be one or the other. And mm -hmm. I'm willing to bet a thousand dollars to a charity of your choice. I'll happily donate in your name. If you can prove they're, that they're telling the truth. And they're saying they told me something I didn't. I said, I'll bet, I'll give you a thousand bucks. Just go pull the phone calls. You guys record every phone call, pull the phone call. And if I'm wrong, happily I'll pay the thousand dollars. That means I wasn't listening. That makes me a jerk for not paying attention. And the guy's like, well, I didn't know, no, no. We give us extra training. I said, well, why'd you give them extra training if you're saying that what they did was correct and I'm wrong and I didn't listen? And he's like, oh, I kept backpedaling and stuff. And I just kind of kept calling him out. And I just, the level of incompetency there is just ridiculous. Absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. So, but that was a frustrating um, chunk of probably two hours of my life. Just phone calls them back and forth and trying to get things figured out and trying to figure out when they ship it to me because we're heading to the mountains um, soon. So it takes them like six days to get crap to me. So I got to show off the right stuff and it's just, it is what it is. It's absolutely, they're giving me a reason in this damn heart rate monitor, and it's just absolutely annoying as shit. Maybe it's part of their plan is to just torment the shit out of me, so I'll get stressed out and be more likely to have my heart screw up, which they can monitor better. I don't know, but they also had my heart go off. Um, it was just, I don't know, it is what it is. So, but we got that taken care of. I was just not feeling like cooking at all last night, so I was like, you know what, screw it. So we decided to have frozen pizza. I actually wanted to order pizza. I wanted to go somewhere and get pizza, whatever. And Karen's like, you know, I said frozen or, you know, delivery or whatever. And she said frozen. I'm like, shit. I should have just went and got delivery. I know I was I was craving the delivery thing. So, or at least carry out one of the two. I don't really care if it's delivery or carry out, but it is what it is. So we had some frozen pizzas, which isn't a big deal. Um, went ahead, just chilled out the rest of the night, kind of tried to take it easy. Went to bed early. And that's pretty much our day. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.